quick update before the review. We actually want to start owner's review, reviewing your own car on our channel. So we actually need your help. And we want to make this global tour, but why don't we start from Korea first. I'll leave my email below here, so let me know a little bit about your car and also let me know your contact number if you're interested. Okay guys, now let's get back to the review. Hello, welcome to Asia and Petro. It is already June 1st here in Korea. It's about 7.30 p.m. So good evening or good afternoon to you guys. Today we have the all new Lincoln Aviator. It's got three liter twin turbo V6 making over 400 horsepower, made it to 10 speed automatic. And it also has rear wheel bias, all wheel drive system and also air suspension. So we didn't have actually time for a full in-depth review today so we're just going to give you night drive on this lincoln aviator so if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future actually lincoln korea launched this uh, lincoln aviator end of april and their asking price is about uh, you know direct conversion about 67k us dollars and this is actually for the uh, reserve model with 22 inch rims uh, i think it looks very very nice uh, when the press car came to our office we parked it right next to uh, hyundai palisade you know my palisade and this aviator somehow uh, looked a little bit lower but actually wider and longer and um, like I told you, it's asking price, 67K here in Korea, you know, it's import for us. So it's a little bit expensive. So um, I think we, ha we better have to uh, compare it to Genesis GV80. And even uh, when we compare the dimensions with the uh, Genesis GV80, this guy is a little bit wider and also longer with a uh, longer wheelbase. And um, you know, it's a, uh, Genesis GV80 actually is a lot lower over a height. So I look very forward to showing you the third row seats. I think I'm going to be okay back there, okay? And um, why don't we start showing you the car from the front. Um, I really do love these three lines um, right here, giving very distinctive lines. Um, you know, Lincoln says they got the overall design concept from aircraft. And uh, as you can see, it's getting a little bit darker, but this part actually lights up too, do you see it? And uh, I really love this uh, new uh, Lincoln grill. It's on Continental and also um, Navigator. Um, looks really nice. I really kind of like this chrome plate on there as well. Okay, we also have a LED fog lamp, uh, active, actually active grill shutter to make it a little bit more efficient and also active air curtains on each side. Okay, that's actually for the uh, adaptive cruise control radar sensor. And uh, we also have um, LED headlamp. Um, so let me just put a B-roll showing you. Um, that's uh, DRL, turn signal, headlamp, high beam, and also fog lamp. And this is what horn sounds like, okay? Let me also show you the car from the side. We have 22 inch rims all around. Um, you know, it looks very nice, I think. Uh, so guys, do let me know what you think about the 22 inch rims design. It's got Lincoln logo in the middle. It's wearing 275, 40 by 22 inches on front and back. And some cars, you know, they use 245 at the front and 275 at the rear. But this guy just used all 275, so. Goodyear tires and you know this is SCV some plastics and chrome strip um, aviator letter and really do like that um, side mirrors are bolted below the waistline to give it a you know better visibility but uh, you know, I, I'm not really big fan of the uh, the chrome strip it's it's carried from here to there but suddenly it just stops so wish they made it a little bit more clean you know maybe wrap it around or something like that but overall i think it looks very nice and uh, i kind of do like this uh you know a pillar and also d pillar is painted black and everything is painted white with this color i i think it looks very nice uh in white uh this part somehow reminds me of a uh, little bit of range rover and a little bit of uh ford explorer but overall i think it looks very very nice um fuel tank here 
easy fuel, you know, you don't need any cap. So that's, I like that from Ford and Lincoln. We also have a, what do you call it? Self closing doors. So all four doors. Um, and you know, this is from Ford and Lincoln. You can set the password and without the key, you can open the door. Okay, so let me just uh, turn on the uh, AC so my GoPro doesn't overheat. Okay, I really like that there's, even in auto, you can also select three different air vents, um, and air mounts coming out, okay? So, let me just, uh, there's also lights. You actually have to press here to open the door. Actually, I have to press here and it releases. And, uh, you know, like I told you, um, I think second row should be all manual like this. So it's, it's a lot faster. So let me just show you the third row seats myself. Get in like this. Um, and uh, this one actually uh, falls down, but I don't think it slides. And I don't know why. I wish they made it so it slides because it just is not giving me enough leg room here. And, but headroom is very, very nice. I'm quite surprised. LED reading lamps. We also have some tie downs, cup holders, and um, right there. You guys can see it, right? Air vents right here, right here. Cup holder, some tie downs, and some storage area. So, and we have speaker right there, right there, right there, right there. We have total 28 speakers. Why don't we move to the second row seats, okay? So. Okay, now we can get here. Move the seats like this. Oh, all the way down like that. Okay. So, self-closing doors. Um, just like the front, there's no handle. You open with this button. It's like a Lincoln style, um, pretty nice. Um, window goes down all the way. And it's got double laminate window, even windows even for the second row side. So it should be very quiet. We're gonna show you how quiet it is. Um, yeah, window, sun shade for the side, very nice. Uh, like I told you, we also have speakers up here. We total have 28 speakers, so that should be very nice. Level system. Um, we'll let you hear it very soon. It's got some very nice leather here, here, and with some uh, high gloss black material. Looks looks pretty good. And uh, this bottom part is sort of plastic, but yeah, med pockets here. And we also have uh, one fast USB charging port and one C type. USB charging port and two 20 volt charging and the air vents for the second row passengers. Um, yeah, let's just turn it on. So, and we also have um, seats, three stage heated or ventilation seats for the second row seat. So, it's very nice. Uh, we also have a uh, a hump in the middle, but it's not so big, so it should be okay. And we also have a big panoramic sunroof on the top. It's actually very big. Whoa. Okay, opens up that much. Can it go more? This, this part doesn't open? Ah, uh, yes, it can. So, yeah. I guess I'm not really familiar with Ford cars or Lincoln cars, but it's, uh, yeah, you can certainly turn off this one too. Display off, you, you know, if you're driving at night, it doesn't bug you. So I like that. That's very, very good job. Um, yeah, let me also show you the first row seats. And uh, before we do, okay, I forgot. Let me also show you the, the trunk and rear Tiana, okay? Okay, so um, if you guys know, uh, please let me know about it. I think it's uh, LED combinations. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's full LED. Wow, there's lots of mosquitoes here. Jesus. 
<laughs> well, let me just try to show you the car very soon. Um, yeah, this seems to be uh, LED. Not really sure if the blinkers are LEDs. I think they are. Um, not really sure. Um, I think we might have to move the car because it, there's like a bunch of mosquitoes here. Hold on. So let me just show you the rear design. Um, please do let me know. I think it's LED combination tail lamp. Uh, it didn't say on the press kit. So if you guys know, please let me know. I think it's. Uh, I think it's. It might be full LED because it's. It's got uh, LED turn signal and backup lamp. So guys, if you know, uh, let me know in the comment section. We also have hidden type wipers right up there. Um, camera for the 360 and lovely looking dual exhaust on the bottom. So uh, let me just put a B-roll showing you the uh, exhaust system sounding and also the backup lamp and turn signal, okay? Let me also quickly show you the trunk. This is what it looks like. Ooh, mosquitoes, please go away. Do you see it? Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Um, you know, of course, for the third row seats like this. Or maybe I have to wait for it. Okay. So it looks very nice. Um, the trunk size, I think, is quite fair for this uh, mid size luxury SUV and uh, you also have more speakers here and uh, four gives you this uh, yeah triangle so somebody um, if your car breaks down or something happens you can let other people know about it I'll just fix it a little bit later um, and below this there's also spare tire which which is which is i'm really big fan of um if you, if this is a suv i think it needs a spare tire good job or or i'm sorry lincoln <laughs> and 12 volt charging and some right here for the grocery <sighs> or your handbags or something like that okay so let me just move to the first row seats and show you the first row seats and we're gonna go out and drive. Okay? Good, lots of mosquitoes. Yeah. And let me also show you the engine real quickly. You have to pull the lever twice and you don't need to do anything else. Um, wow. This has, uh, like I told you, three liter twin turbocharged V6 making 405 horsepower and 417 pound feet of torque. Engine is made it to 10 speed automatic, actually, yes, 10 speed automatic. It's rear wheel driven, all wheel drive system. And so we're going to show you this guy working on the road very, very soon. So actually, they covered everything so much, uh, you don't really see much. Hmm. That looks good. Okay. All right, so press here to go in. Okay, so hopefully my GoPro won't die today. It always does, very <laughs> suddenly. When you get inside, it's got very good leather here, here, um, right here. Uh, this seems to be like a soft touching material, not leather, but leather here, here, here. Um, you open the door like that, and if there's an emergency, if it breaks, there's also a manual. Um, so I was, you know, when I got in, uh, I was very surprised to find that out. This actually has 30 adjustable seats. Um, so even the headrest, you can adjust the headrest up and down. And 
of course, recline the seats, move it, and <laughs> you see that? You can individually change like that, which is, I don't know, I don't know. But it's, it's good, but, you know, it's a new car, but it's, it's still already making some, you know, noises, so. But overall, it's, it's very comfortable seat. I really like the seats, but hopefully without the squeaking, okay? So full automatic, very nice. And we also have a 12.3 inch gate cluster. Um, looks very nice and uh, I, I have two problems. Um, wish the dials were a little bit bigger and um, you know, wish uh, the gauge cluster would, uh, you know, alter or uh, you can change it a little bit to make you feel a little bit, uh, you know, wish there was like a different theme, like A, B, C, that would be nice. But, you know, without the, maybe I, I don't know the system well, but with you can change the uh, drive modes like this. It will give you some graphic, but that's it. So uh, I wish they made it a little bit more interesting. You know, you have the good screen, big screen here. So why don't we make a better use of it? Um, steering wheel feels very nice. Uh, oh, that's what it honks sounds like. Uh, very nice, even leather up here. That's, that's something hard to do. Um, very nice leather. But it's a little bit small. The thickness is okay, but overall, because this is a quite large car, but the steering wheel size is a little bit small for my taste. And to the right, we also have a 10.1 inch screen. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's very nice. It also supports SYNC 3. Uh, not really familiar with the system, but I can show you a few things. Uh, oh, some of you are always uh, asked me, uh, whether I can do Apple CarPlay. Uh, so this time I didn't forget. So we can do Apple CarPlay here. So this is what Korean Apple CarPlay looks like. Okay. So we have a uh, WhatsApp, Google map, calendar, neighbor map, um, Genie. That's like, um, that's like for my music streaming, um, navigation. This, this is all from, um, iPhone, phone, music, map, message, podcast. So that's that's go back, going back to um, Lincoln. So it's a, it's a very nice system. Um, let me sh just show you a few things. Um, is it is it dark enough? Uh, I don't think it's dark enough. So let's talk a little bit more and then show you. I like to show you mood lamp. There's also mood lamp here. Um, on the bottom we have a good. Uh, event design i really like something like th this one actually you can really alter the the way the air is blown this one really you can really feel the difference um like some of the car like a hyundai palace or genesis gv 80 it looks really good but it it just changes a little bit so you can't really alter it but oh mosquito all right, now it's completely dark, I think. It's about 8.30. So uh, let me just show you a few more things. We have ambient light as well, like I told you, right here, right here, um, right there and on the bottom as well. And even it's got onto the uh, second row, seats right on there and on the bottom and on the floor as well. Okay, so let me just show you each uh, different colors. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. Okay, let's start with white one, yellow one, it's like a sky blue, red, blue, green, purple. Um, my personal favorite is white, so I'm just gonna leave it white. Uh, guys, do let me know which one is your favorite. Yellow, sky blue, red, blue, um, green, purple, so I'm just gonna leave it in um, white. And uh, and there's also something, uh, there's also massaging seats, I didn't know that, but you can choose full recover, circular cushion, upper rolling, lower rolling. It's like a air pockets that, that kind of um, gives you a massage, pretty good. Also good for a passenger side as well. So yeah, so we're gonna go drive so let's turn off the uh, massaging system is still on how do you turn it off 
yeah, next turn. Okay, he's turning it off. We also have a 360 cam. Okay, come on. 360 camera looking like this. So it's that will also help you, you know, park better and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty good. And um, yeah, I think I showed you everything about the car. So why don't we go out to the road with all new aviator? That's high beam turn signal and really like the f fact that they give you fog lamp fog lamp like this and i really like the head-up display as well okay so when we go out to the road with all new lincoln aviator and uh, when you uh turn the uh, the dry mode it actually you can actually feel the air suspension kind of you know in deep condition it actually raises the car a lot so that's something to note and why don't we go out to the road with all new Lincoln Aviator. Okay. All right, guys, finally on the road with all new Lincoln Aviator. Uh, we left it in normal mode and it feels very quiet. Um, like I said, we have double laminate windows up to second row. So it's right now we're driving, uh, you know, slowly in city driving, but it feels very, very nice. Um, let's see, uh, we also have uh, adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality. So if the lead car stops, this aviator will come to a full stop on, in, on its own. And, um, it also has an auto start and stop. So right now it's saying condition not met, but if the condition allows, it will actually shut off the car um, so that it will save fuel. Okay, so. And this Aviator is actually uh, more efficient compared to Genesis GV80 with 3.5 liter twin turbo. This guy will actually, uh, you know, according to cover, Korean government, it will actually return about, on average, uh, 19 miles per gallon um, total in average um, with 22 inch rims. Um, Genesis GV80 with 3.5 liter twin turbo will actually return about 18 miles per gallon. So it's, it's very similar, but uh, uh, you kind of get the idea. So these are not most efficient ones, but I'm hearing that it will also have a, you know, some sort of hybrid um, version coming out. So that should be very nice too. I, I think it was a plug-in hybrid, so that should be very, very nice. And uh, visibility, let's talk about visibility. Uh, as you can see, the windows bolted below the waistline so it's actually very nice it's got big windows all around so it's it's very nice and we also have a commanding view it's not too high uh, but uh, it's actually high enough so that you see the car you know from top to the bottom so it's it's really nice uh, it's a very nice feeling and um, like i told you the head-up display is great uh, these two screens are easy on your eyes uh, but like I told you, a little bit more interesting graphic would be a little bit uh, nicer. But but when you, uh, hold on, let me just show you. When you turn on and off the car, it gives you that uh, aviator sort of uh, sky flying uh, graphic. I really do like that. So let me just come to a full stop. Would it? Of course, yeah. And I guess because we have the AC, the uh, auto start and stop is not working. So let's just put it in the car. The start and stop button is right there. And when you do, it gives you that, uh, you know, blue sky sort of aviator thing going on. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, what else? We also have uh, lane keep assist. We're going to show you pretty soon. Um, yeah, it looks very, very nice. Um, Overall, it feels very comfortable. The seats, like I told you, 30-way adjustable seats. It's very, very... <laughs> I'm just not used to the <laughs> button type gear selector, so... Sorry. Um, 
So this 3 liter twin turbo V6 makes about uh, 405 horsepower and 417 pound feet of torque and peak torque starts around 3000 RPM. So, you know, it's not low, low, low end torque, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, you know, gives you enough and uh, it sounds pretty uh, manly when you step on it. So we're going to show you uh, pretty, pretty soon. Okay, so what happens if I put it in reverse? It says, I don't think so. <laughs> so gear selected will engage at low speed. So, so it will actually engage into the rear if you go into um, in slow mode. We also have uh, electric parking and we also have uh, auto hold. Uh, right there, auto holes is very nice. Um, you can also turn off the traction control here, but let's not do that. And auto start and stop. And you can also do the additional settings. Uh, we have adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, uh, for collision avoidance, and also uh, rear cross traffic alert system. So it's got uh, pretty much everything. So it should be very helpful. Uh, Rear cross traffic is one of my favorite because um, it's once saved my uh, saved me because it was really dark at night. It was raining and I was just backing out and I didn't see a car coming and it just alerted me and even applied uh, brakes for me. So you know that was really a lifesaver. Uh, so yeah. So. I guess this has uh, automatic updates like uh, over the year. Um, will give you also Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, not really familiar how to use this uh, clock. So it's gasoline engine. Uh, we have mostly diesels for the SUVs, and uh, whenever I drive, um, you know, gasoline-powered SUVs, it's much nicer. You don't feel any vibration or noise coming from the diesels. It's it's very nice. So let me just, this is in, the, you know, no moment. Let, let me just let you hear it. See, it's very nice. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, the suspension, um, I told you it's got air suspension. Um, not really big fan of the air suspension. Although if you, if you glide like this, it's, it's very nice because it's cushy. But uh, when you do drive quite fast, it starts to become really floaty. So if you want a very comfortable and smooth ride, I, I think uh, this will be a very good setup because it'll give you a very, uh, the air suspension will give you a very good ride. But um, let me just uh, put the car into sports mode a little bit. Um, they don't call it sport. It's normal or conserve. Excite, they call it. They call it excite. Okay, so let me just. Uh... Good brakes, uh, because there's <laughs> also a camera detector up there. So let me just let you hear it one more time. Wow. So it's. Wow. So this uh, three liter twin turbo V6 really makes uh, power, you know, throughout the RPM. It's, it's spread out very nicely. You know, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't spool up suddenly. It just happens all the way smoothly, very nice. Which, which I think is a great setup for this sort of a luxury SUV. And we also have a 10 speed automatic, six, five, four three oh so no more three four five six wow so 10 gears guys 10 gears i think that's too many no um i think eight is quite nice uh, mercedes used to have like a seven and now they have nine and you know, Genesis, Hyundai have eight, but now this guy has like 10. So even even if you want to use all of it, you can't really do it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. So, 
Okay, I mean. And it should be helping with efficiency, you know, it's got 10 gears, so if you're cruising on the highway, it should drop the RPM, so that uh, will give you more efficiency. So that's also good, and um, it feels pretty nice. Um, it's not as, uh, you know, it's got torque converter, so it's, it feels very smooth and also, you know, shifting quite quickly as well. Uh, you know, it's not sports car is fast, but uh, I think it's, it's good enough for this large SUV. I mean, if you're watching from, you know, North America or Canada, this, this would be like, yes, a really mid-sized SUV. But here in Korea, this is actually considered as a large SUV. Uh, it's over five meters long. Um, so, but you have a Suburban, you know, Escalade, uh, Navigator, all the good stuff. So, okay, let me also show you uh, adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist. So right now, the lane I have turned the lane keep assist on. Um, it's a very nice system. Uh, it's very stable and very reliable. We're, right now we're kind of going on a corner and it feels very comfortable. And but after like 10 seconds, it's, it will say keep on, keep your hands on the steering wheel, which we're supposed to do, right? Yeah, always. Uh, Always keep your hands on the steering wheel, so we're always safe, okay? So, so overall, I mean, um, you know, it's got uh, adaptive cruise control with uh, lane keep assist, so I think this will be a very, very good uh, long distance cruiser. It feels very quiet, as you can see. It just uh, glide. <laughs> And the air suspension, you know, I'm a really big fan of it because sometimes I like to really take, you know, hard corners. But, you know, air suspension will at last, uh, it will just give up, um, you know, Land Rover, um, whatever uh, uses air cushion is really nice. I mean, it gives you a very, very comfortable ride and smooth ride. But at the end, it just kind of loses itself. I'm not really big fan of the air suspension but in this case uh, you know, if you're looking for a long distance cruiser uh, that's quiet comfort and also powerful um, I think this will do a very very good job for you um, and it feels very um, quite uh, powerful and pulls very linearly all the way The, you know 10 speed automatic shifting quite eagerly too um, so it's quite nice uh, but I haven't had a chance to uh, go really hard handling with this car but I have a feeling that it will feel quite soft around corners as well so yeah but overall it's, it's very quiet I'm not really hearing much noise coming from the bottom of the car or side or the front as a matter of fact. Uh, you know, some Korean cars, uh, some noise would come from the bottom of the car. Uh, but this uh, chassis uh, feels very solid and also uh, quite uh, nicely isolated. Uh, see? Double laminated windows here and for the second, so it's, it's very nice. I don't think there's any uh, sound generators. I try to find it. Um, if you if you know about it, uh, let me know if if it has this the sound generator. But I don't think it has it. But it sounds pretty nice. Um, the V6 uh, kind of makes a very manly noise or sound. The steering wheel. Um, I think it relatively feels light when you start to drive really fast. Um, and while, if you, while you're driving fast, if you go over a bump suddenly, it feels a little bit shaky. But other than that, it feels very stable and very comfortable. Uh, yeah. Steering wheel feels great in your hand.
feels a bit heavy. So it's got plenty of power. <laughs> so, yeah. Adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, you can just uh, relax. It's a very nice system. Um, right now, we're just going through a curve and uh, it's very smooth. I like that. Um, some of the cars could be really like a you know, jerky, keeps hands on the steering wheel, but this one seems to be very quiet. So. Yeah, so it's got plenty of power when you ask it to go. But Lincoln probably didn't build it uh, for, for it to be uh, hustling like this, but it, it can be done. Yeah, I wish the gauge cluster would be just a little bit bigger. That would make things look uh, more uh, dramatic and nicer so do many Koreans buy Lincoln's here in Korea um, yeah some people really like the uh, Lincoln Continental new one and uh, they really like this uh, seem to be liking this uh, new aviator um, and uh, some people straight import the navigator um, it looks really massive here in Korea it looks even more massive <laughs> so um, and um, you know, lots of people like to uh, buy Ford Explorer because it's it's a large car, um, quite inexpensive. So yeah, Mustang fans here too. Yes, but you know, it's V8 takes lots of gas. Um, so just for this sports car enthusiast. Uh, so yeah, not many. Uh, volume isn't that big, but uh, there's certainly people who are uh, seeking to have a uh, you know Mustang Explorer or aviator and navigator and uh, you know people love uh, some people straight import uh, Ford F-150 Raptors um, they really love that um, yeah so there are definitely uh, Ford and uh, you know Lincoln fans out there but it's, the volume isn't so much so I hope uh, you know even the Ford and uh, Lincoln continues selling more cars here in Korea so you know we get uh, to get to choose uh, you know from more of a variety of cars okay so uh, all right guys so this has been our short night drive with Lincoln Aviator I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll be back with more car reviews as a matter of fact we'll be test driving the Hyundai Veloster N with DCT tomorrow so stay tuned for that as well and before you leave if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys see you soon and stay healthy bye bye and good night